For millions of Americans, this weekend is a time to celebrate redemption at God's hand. Tonight, Jews will gather for a second Seder, where they will retell the story of the Exodus. And tomorrow, my family will join Christians around the world as we thank God for the all-important gift of grace through the resurrection of His Son and experience the wonder of Easter morning. These holidays have their roots in miracles that took place thousands of years ago. They connect us to our past and give us strength as we face the future. And they remind us of the common thread of humanity that connects us all. For me and for countless other Christians, Easter weekend is a time to reflect and rejoice. Yesterday, many of us took a few quiet moments to try and fathom the tremendous sacrifice Jesus made for all of us. Tomorrow, we will celebrate the resurrection of a Savior who died so that we might live. And throughout these sacred days, we recommit ourselves to following His example. We rededicate our time on earth to selflessness and to loving our neighbors. We remind ourselves that no matter who we are or how much we achieve, we each stand humbled before an Almighty God. The story of Christ's triumph over death holds special meaning for Christians. But all of us, no matter how or whether we believe, can identify with elements of His story. The triumph of hope over despair, of faith over doubt, the notion that there's something out there that is bigger than ourselves. These beliefs help unite Americans of all faiths and backgrounds. They shape our values and guide our work. They put our lives in perspective. So to all Christians celebrating the resurrection with us, Michelle and I want to wish you a blessed and happy Easter. And to all Americans, I hope you have a weekend filled with joy and reflection, focused on the things that matter most. God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America.